President Moon Jae-in flatly dismissed the possibility of a withdrawal of U.S. forces in the nation when the Korean War is formally ended. The liberal leader also made his stance clear that they will stay even if a peace treaty is signed. Our Moon Gon-young starts us off. The U.S. troops stationed in South Korea will remain in the country even if a deal is reached to formally end the 1952-53 Korean War. That's the South Korean government's official stance. Let me quote President Moon. The issue of U.S. troops stationed in South Korea is a matter of South Korea-U.S. alliance. It has nothing to do with signing any peace treaties. The presidential Blue House was responding to questions about an op-ed piece written by the South Korean president's special advisor and academic Moon Jong-in. In an article published in the Monday edition of the U.S. magazine Foreign Affairs, the former Yonsei University professor argued that it would be difficult to justify the presence of the U.S. forces in South Korea if a peace treaty was signed to put an end to the Korean conflict as agreed at the historic inter-Korean summit last week. Washington stations 28,500 troops in South Korea as a legacy of the conflict, which ended in an armistice, not a peace treaty. While North Korea has been vocally opposed to the U.S. troops in the past, there was no explicit mention of them in the Panmunjom declaration reached at the end of the summit between President Moon and Chairman Kim on April 27th. The Blue House spokesperson added that Special Advisor Moon Jong-in has received a special phone call from the top office and was asked not to create any confusion about the president's stance on this matter. The South Korean president's swift disaster control and clarification of his stance is seen as his efforts to rid any roadblocks or possible conflicts between South Korea and the U.S., especially ahead of the highly anticipated North Korea-U.S. summit in this excruciatingly delicate dance towards Korean peace that may have just begun. As part of that effort, President Moon will hold a rare meeting with the chiefs of the nation's five constitutional institutions on Thursday to personally explain the outcome of last week's inter-Korean summit. Moon Gon-young, Arirang News, The Blue House.